this area is done. Everything I need to do back here has been done, except tighten up these bolts. All my electrical bolts need to be torqued. I've got a note, two notes actually, to that effect, so I don't let that slip through the cracks before we power up the system. Can you see the, the panel? Yeah, panel's gonna get wired up this week. Uh, all my runs are done, a couple of things to do, but this, this garage in this ProMaster with these components fit together like a puzzle. The water tank pressed up against the, the quarter inch maple against the wheel well, 45 gallon water tank, then my one inch 80, 20, then the battery, then more, I mean, every single thing that had to go in these layers coming across between those wheel wells fit perfect, perfectly. Uh, 45 gallon water tank. You got this massive microwave that's a drawer style on the other side. Uh, I do like, I am partial now to building these fixed beds with a garage. Uh, it makes the most efficient use of the rear of the van and the bulkhead in the middle, that wall that divides the garage from the living area, uh, that allows you uh, a lot of mounting spots in van number one, I had my, my couch bed up front. So from a living point of view, that's a very nice wide open van. It was the class A of class B's. But in terms of getting your mechanicals and storage in place, a little more difficult. The water tank was under the, the couch. Uh, you know, the battery was under the galley. So we fit things in where they needed to go. Uh, but this van, we had a different approach. This is a full-time van. Uh, get, look at this massive storage area. I, I hate to put my I-beams back in here and put the bed on top because this, this is like a ballroom back here. Uh, but yeah, you'll have the bed coming across. It's a full clear span. I've got my I-beams going across, so there's no, no need for vertical supports in the center here. Uh, if he wants to put in trays, you know, slide out trays at a future date, you can do that. I'm sitting on a, a dual storage area uh, for him to store stuff seasonally or whatever the case may be. But uh, yeah, everything is... Uh, and this is the way it's going to be. We're not covering this up. What you see is how it's going to live. And the reason for that is every time Sam comes back here, he's going to unconsciously put his eyes on all these things. And he's going to have a mental picture of what it's supposed to look like, what it should look like. And so if anything does go wrong, it's going to, it's going to send a flag up. And he's going to realize it sooner than later. You know, everything... Uh, all that wiring, everything that's going on here, he can put eyes on it. His water pump right here, he can change out, clean this screen periodically, very easily reaching in. So I, I like this. I like to see this stuff. A lot of vans we covered up. I covered it up in Mr. and Mrs. Sprinter's van. And I think the reason for that sort of thing is Sam is a seasoned full-timer. He's been living on the road for over five years. Uh, so he, he comes to realize that there's a certain amount of, of function that has to trump cosmetics. Not aesthetic, I didn't say that, because the way this stuff is all installed is aesthetically pleasing to me. Uh, but that's, that's the, the, the real deal. The, the more, you, more time you spend on the road, the more you realize there's certain things that aren't necessary and they actually get in the way of excellent day-to-day -day living. Is my, my thing still on here? Yeah, you never know with this microphone. Um, even, even with the bathroom. Uh, Sam does not want a bathroom. He wants a toilet in a box. And the more full-timers or extended living van dwellers that I come in contact with, None of them want that dedicated room for a bathroom and a shower. But if you're new to the lifestyle, you want to replicate your home. You want a residence on wheels in 60 square feet. And the more you travel and the more you live in it, the more you realize 
certain things are not just that important. So, okay, I think I'd, I'd beat that horse. So here we're starting on the armoire and the bathroom shower. If you can see this, that shower pan is almost, it's uh, almost five feet long, left to right. And if you also notice, it goes under the armoire. That's right, the armoire is floating above the shower pan. And you'll understand why we did that in a later video. Pretty cool.